But all right. So Street Fighter um, obviously finished their last batch of characters, which obviously one was um, Rajid, the other one was Aki, the other one was uh, I forgot his name or uh, of the fighter. I think it was Ed or Eddie. And then we had um, Akuma. So that was four characters. So now they were like saying, you know what? Let's do our year two reveal trailer since obviously like we already finished our combat pack one, like Mortal Kombat, um, to see who is going to be the character that's going to be um, revealed next. And I already have a quick idea who it is based on the thumbnail of this picture. Ooh, but we're getting like a, what's it called? Animated uh, uh, trailer. Jamie and uh, the goat. Yo, Terry Bogart. Terry. And he's going to be adapted into the Street Fighter VI um, style. Can't wait. And there she is, my... The one that people wanted, the fan service woman, to fight Chun Li. Elena, a fighter that um, I never gotten the chance to uh, try out much, cause like she was like uh, in certain um, Street Fighters, and also Bison. That's what's crazy. But here is the lineup, and obviously we're getting Bison in the summer, Terry in autumn, so like basically expected like in October. Uh, and then we got Elena in spring, which would be like March and April. And damn, my finishes for winter, which would be like in November, December. Damn, they're really stretching long for these characters to uh, get released. But... What's interesting is Bison, knowing that obviously if you finish Street Fighter V story, like the ending, what happens with him? So it, it, it raises that question. So let's see, is there anything else? No, it's just saying get the game. And obviously we'll do the character towers or fights for the characters I still have left. It's just I haven't gotten the time. And also, um, it might be like non-commentary, so that way you guys can enjoy uh, my gameplay for it uh, without me having to talk around it. But since they revealed that uh, year two, they're like saying, you know what? Let's reveal our character, our first character for this one, and that is going to be M. Bison. So we'll see if it's going to be the same fight style or different. All right, here we go. No, oh, she's. He's got a horse. Dude, why does every cinematic look so nice here? I resemble this man you call Bison. I shall take that name for myself. Bison. Interesting. Damn. He still got his psycho punch, and he got the slide, bro. The classic slide. Is he gonna... Okay, so he got the one that crushes you. And he also got the flip. Yeah. Classic Bison. The fire. There it is. We're expecting the fire. Woo! It's so menacing. Oh my gosh, dude. He got the stomp. Very combo base. So he has an overwhelming of chaos power? What the hell? That EX move is crazy. Like it's his move, but he also has a chaos. Damn dude, he can overpass projectiles as well? This man is on another level. Failure. Dude, these combos are crazy. 
Ooh. Dude, those flames are so annoying in Street Fighter 2 that it's gonna be even more annoying here. Oh! Right. Right in the back, bro. Oh. oh, man. The villain is here. Obviously, we haven't uh, gotten any um, truly, like, evil Shadow Lou characters besides Jury, um, obviously, uh, with her villainous. And also, we got Aki. But... Oh, and also Akuma, I forgot. <laughs> I'm like forgetting all these characters that are like very like villain like. But now we got a true menacing character that is Bison. And obviously, he has the classic moves from like any game that you could think about. But the fact that he's going to be able to um, go with the fire to uh, evade projectiles. So. He won't be like pass you in, and then you throw your projectile and then he gets hit. No, he passes through that. Like that is insane. Like when you go into that path, you know that that character is going to be broken if you learn how to learn how to um, use the character. Um, but next game, if it'll let me uh, release. And that is going to be Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And this is the official official release date trailer yes i know that a lot of people are expecting for this game to be the most best one that they have come out everything that was released in the gameplay overview has been amazing there's new mechanics there's new cinematics there's new stuff what i'm expecting from this one is hopefully a storyline like they have done with the budokai series where uh kind of take it to the classic budokai one where it's the whole adventure of Goku because I remember when I was playing the first Budokai uh, again it went from the Saiyan Saga to um, the Cell Saga so it ended up there so I'm hoping that we kind of get that same kind of storyline touch for this Sparking Zero uh, Budokai 4 um, edition if so that would be awesome but if it's too much then obviously, Guess we'll see. I still appreciate all the characters that we got. This will be when the true and also, Ultra Instinct, bruh. The detailings of this are amazing. Dude, he can become great ape. Yo, it's over, bro. It's over. When you can become a great ape in this game. This is, this is what I'm talking about. It's kind of going with the sign of story. Because these are literally story moments. <laughs> POV? <laughs> Reclaim new possibilities. So there's like an adventure? Rip underscore Maki, what's up? You are a prison, boy. The true form of autonomous culture is my turn. Break the heavens. Yo, the overwhelming of everything. Dang. There it is, October 11th. And if you pre-order, you can get six characters early, which is obviously Vegito with all the very... Oh, okay. So this is what's going to happen. So apparently, characters are going to have their own separate variations. So there's going to be a whole bunch... Bro, there's going to be a whole like roster. Like, you're talking about... Wait, wait, oh, like Vegito, but you're getting all three as their own little section broly gets the same little sections as well bro what are you talking about I'm and a playable a, mystery character. a playable character i don't mystery. know what the hell that means but it's a mystery playable character the collector's edition uh, it kind of looks like uh, 
You used Beast Gohan, uh, I just realized. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, what is that thing called? Because um, there's... I forgot what the figure brand is. But... Obviously, it looks like that. But... It's amazing. It's still amazing. Um, you also get some exclusive cards. Uh, a metallic bookmark. The steel book, which looks amazing. And a lenticular car with ultimate edition. Oh, what? I guess if you have a... Wait, I, I don't know. Uh, and they also get the digital contents and you get all... It includes all and digital bonuses. So you get an ultimate upgrade pack and upgrade, up, ultimate edition bonus. Season pass, which is 20 playable characters. Damn, there's going to be 20 more on the way. And you get the season pass bonus. Yo, that's crazy. Everything for this game looks clean. Um, they took their time well. And I'm excited for this game. I know that a lot of uh, fans that really wanted their character to be in it. Well, here it is. Here's the chance for it to be in it. Where, obviously, um, oh, I wanted a tournament of power fighter. Well, now you might get the chance because... As what I saw from the season past, 20 playable characters, that's a lot. But, let's move on to the next thing, and that's going to be, um, Lego Horizon Adventures. Um, so, obviously, the, with the popularity of Lego being in, uh, Fortnite, and, obviously, a lot of people were playing that, well, they were, like, saying, you know what, let's make another, uh, version of Lego, but this time with Horizon Adventures. Peggy 7. Peggy 7. Oh, yeah, it was the PlayStation State of Play. And then it was a. Uh, auditioning for the. Ooh, the lead and unannounced action game. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh, sure. I get that a lot. But check out my range. Okay. Dude, why does this look so clean? Empathy. Oh, hilarity. This guy. Strike. Hilarity. <laughs> what game is this anyway? Oh my gosh. Yo, that looks so hey, I need costume. clean. Ooh, sandwich. Ooh, sandwich. <laughs> Sorry, gotta go. This is literally like Lego movie. Hot dog guy is Aloy, an amazing video game lead. Woo, this looks so clean. Look at this. I'll bring it down. That was gonna be fun. A lonely hero. Hunting the way that they're walking there. <laughs> 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 they're doing the fucking goofy ass walk. A bright, a friendly hero. Hunting with her pal. There, there's that Lego set. Exploring. Wow, what is this place? Yo, this actually looks so clean. Look at this. All the shiny things. And making a home. Bro, this is Minecraft. This is literally like what people are expecting for a Lego game. Oh right, the Thunder Dog. Dude, this looks so good. Here we go. Dude, this year's coming with a bunch of bangers. Like we got this one. We got um the Funko game. Yo. A hot dog. <laughs> Yo. So in the holiday. Something uh that pertained to like a family member uh from an accident that happened. But they're fine. They're fine. So obviously uh Twitch don't um get me in trouble with this. Um but yeah, uh Lego Horizons pretty amazing where like the whole concepts of like it feels like a minecraft game because obviously you're, you're building your own place you're having adventures you're getting um like skins that you could become anything i guess even the hot dog guy that was in this trailer and yeah just everything about it looked amazing and clean and it's coming out in the holidays so why not 
uh, have a fun game to end off the year, like Lego Horizons. Uh, but yeah, pretty awesome. Let's go.